Today I'm going to be showing you how to do nautical rope ties around jars. I've been wanting to do this craft for a really long time and I thought today was the day. I actually was watching um, Ozark and there were some water scenes that they had and I got inspired because it's summertime where I am and I wanted to create something that was beach or water theme. So I actually got some twine on Amazon and I had some jars from Leftover Crafts on Uline. They end up being about a dollar each when you order in bulk so they're very affordable. Actually maybe even less than a dollar. Um, but I decided to start from the bottom going to the top because ahead of time I already knew how it was going to end this. Um, a lot of the blogs that I was reading said to start from the top to the bottom. And the knots are pretty simple so I measured out, I just kind of eyed it. I made the rope about three times the length of the jar and then I cut them all the same length, a bunch of different strips, as many as I thought that I was going to knot around. So you just make a loop, you loop it around and pull it through just like this. It's very simple and that's going to be the same knot that you're going to use all the way up the jar or down the jar, whatever way that you decide to start. can see all my extra string on the side and then I had my first layer done so now I can move on down all right and you wrap it around your finger like this and you're gonna pull it through the loop again making basically that same type of knot that we saw earlier we're gonna do that all the way around So when you have two pieces of string, like you see here, you're always taking one and then you're grabbing the other from the neighboring couple of strings. That's how you're doing these knots towards the bottom. Now we're gonna go for another row same thing wrap it around pull it through the loop very easy guys I know you can do it if I can do it you can but I thought these are so cute I saw these uh, jars a lot of times at Michaels I've seen them at Pottery Barn over different seasons in the past and I just thought they were so cute um, they look complicated and really nice but they're actually very simple and I can see using this actually for a lot of different things so here we go once I got to the top I had my plan I was gonna wrap around the lip to finish it off I used my glue gun and I actually like to use Gorilla Glue sticks so I'm showing you here where I put the glue and I kind of put the glue down as I wrapped it around, so you'll see here. I used the backs of my scissors to help push it down because it was hot! And then I clipped the ends on the top of the lip. And I topped it off really good at the top and there you have it. But I knew I wanted to do more. I actually wanted to make it into a sort of lantern so I decided I'm gonna figure out a way to make a handle out of rope. If I do this again, I think I'm gonna string some natural colored beads across the string. I think that would be really cute, but 
you know you can do whatever you want you could braid you could use a different type of twine different type of string or you don't have to have a string at all I thought this would be really cute for like a tea light candle inside um, or some sand and some seashells with a tea light candle but I just kind of used the same looping technique on each side made sure the knot was nice and hidden and voila so cute you can hang it up then I decided I'm gonna get a bigger apothecary jar I got one from Party City this is only $11 and I did the same thing this time I started at the top moved to the bottom and I wrapped my rope yeah isn't that cute around the neck not like this though you'll see with my hot glue gun similar to what I did to this with the small lantern And look at that, so cute. And I would say with the amount of twine used and that big giant apothecary jar, it was probably a total of $12 or less.